Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to rock the blue mascara with two looks that you can totally glam up for your prom. Would you prefer the edgy and glamorous look on the left or the sweet and cute look on the right? Let me know in the comment box below. And let's get started. First, I'm going to prime my eye with this eyeshadow primer from the Forever 21. I'm testing this product out. It has a really light consistency though. I will let you guys know how it performs on my eyelid. I hope it will hold up my eyeshadow. For my face, I'm using the Heart Candy Sheer Glow All The Way in Blushing Bay. This has a really moisturous texture like lotion. It gave me a really nice tacky lowy finish which will help my foundation go on very smoothly and last much longer. Next, I'm using the Sonia Cassia Eyeshadow Blending Brush to set my eyeshadow primer with some of the highlighting powder from the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. I love this powder. I'm just gonna pack a ton of it on my lid. For the look I'm doing today, I'm going to use this Milani Backup Blush in Raspberry Pink as the main shadow color. I love this hot pink color as a shadow much more than using it as a blush because it's way too pigmented to be a blush. However, it's, it's super smooth and blends perfectly when you're using it as, as a shadow color. And I'm just using one of my Morphe eyeshadow brush to apply the color on my lid. Seeing my eye is really small, as well as my lid area, I just want to focus on building the color within the lid area and not too high up to the crease. I don't like to look like a cloud. Definitely don't. Blend, blend, blend. Make sure to blend it back and forth between the two brushes so there will be no harsh edges. I'm using the pencil brush to add a little bit more of the pink color to my outer V corner and blend it in toward the center of the list area. That's way the eye will be more defined. Next, I'm using the little of the warm contouring color in the Wet n Wild palette. With the same pencil brush, I'm adding a little bit more uh, of the warm tone color into the outer V corner to create that definition without taking away the pink color. For those who like more of an intense look, you can replace this step with like a warm red brown color. For me, this is good. And I'm just adding a little bit more pink onto my center of my lip. And this is good. I'm lining my eye using the Bias Eyeliner number 20 Chess. I love this liner, it's super smooth. And I'm just gonna smudge it out using the small angle brush. And then I'm going in with the same Eco Soul Power Proof Tang Liner to tight line my eye. I love this eyeliner <laughs> so much. It's not waterproof and it lasts forever and very easy to remove too. And then I'm using the Appeal Hero Tattoo Brow Marker to fill in my eyebrow. Just curling my lashes and I'm gonna prime my lashes using the Lancome Primer Mascara. I love this Lancome Primer Mascara because it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's just a little bit expensive though. Oh no, I'm breaking out guys. It's okay. I have a weapon to fight this. I'm using the Tarte Self-Tap Concealer in Medium to conceal my pimple, my redness area, my scar, and my under eyes area too. Also, I will add a little bit of this face-off baby cream in number 
23 Natural Bay. I like this BB cream because it's waterproof. But if you use it by it all, it can give you a little bit white cast. To blend all this in, I'm using the Modest Prismatic Foundation Brush number 801, the biggest brush in the set. I love this brush. It blends everything perfectly, seamlessly, in such a short amount of time. And it's so cheap, guys. Also, I'm using the concealer brush of the same brand and to add a little bit more of the BB cream under up my eye to highlight the under eye area. These brush are so good and so cheap. It's only 16 bucks. You guys should check it out at Walmart. Next, to define my brow, I'm using the Holika Holika 24 Hour Wonder Brow in Light Brow. I love this Wonder Brow because it's really natural. It, it dries to the powder finish, so it's very easy to work with. To finish the brow, I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Stylet Blumber in Light to Medium. This brow gel is just totally blend everything in together perfectly and naturally. Just curling my lashes one more time to ensure that my lashes will stay curled and stay up. Feeling like my eye is missing something, so I'm using the Wet n Wow Long Wearing Eye Pencil in color A260 Shock Therapy. It's like a pink eyeliner and just lining my inner corner and not taking it too far to the center. Finally, the blue mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminate Original Mascara in Cobalt Blue. I'm just gonna load a ton of them on my lashes. I love this blue mascara because it's true to the color. Unlike some of other blue mascara I, that I dried before, it may come up blue at first, but then when it dry, it dry black. This one doesn't. This one is blue and it will dry to blue color. While waiting for my mascara to dry, I'm going to contour my face using the same contouring palette from Wet n Wild and the Morphe contouring brush. Make sure to blend and blend and blend so you won't have a hard slide on your face. Please excuse my duck face though, I know I do look funny there. To highlight, I'm using the Morphe M520 brush and the Card Candy Finishing Powder in Light to Medium. I love this powder because it gives us a really natural glow without any glitter or shimmer. I apply on my cheekbone and my nose and my forehead. I think I over apply on my cheek. It look a little bit white, so I'm topping it over with some of the Wet and Wow Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Princess Petal. I do love this color, but if you apply too much, it can look overdone. So it have some of that shimmer in it. I'm coloring my lashes one more time and applying the second coat of mascara. Or you can apply falsy if you want a more intense look. Here's my eye with two coats of mascara. Yay! Last but not least in the lip color. I'm using the Peri Para in Velvet in number 07 Dusty Rose. I love this color. It definitely gives a good spring vibe. What do you guys think? Here's the half a comparison. On this half, I'm not using color contact lens, and on this half, I'm using the color contact lens. I know the color contact lens make a big difference on my eye, but the what is for? Tada! Here's the final look. What do you guys think? Please excuse my messy hair. So this is the sweet and chic look that I'm going for. I'm surprised how it turned out. It's better than what I expected it to be. And to switch it up to look more glamorous, all I did was just switch out the lip color. Here I'm using the Perfect Tone Matte Lips Cream in number 5402 Go Nude. And just top in the center with some of the pink powder that I use on my eye. And there you go. It looked perfect in flash photography for sure.
I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and hopefully it will be helpful for you guys. Until the next time, remember to have fun, be confident, and be beautiful. If you like my contents, my video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. See ya! Not only funny, you can do it another time. <laughs> He's like, don't do anything with me. <laughs>